Hello, I'm Farhan and this is the new BITX version 6. This is a complete transceiver kit which operates on all bands from 80 meters to 10 meters and it, all the controls are just on two circuit boards so you don't have to solder anything here at all. You just mount two circuit boards, the main board and the front display board here and snap in the uh, couple of connections for the speaker etc and then just bolt in the front back and the top panels. In this video I am going to uh, demonstrate how this works. <clears throat> so this front panel features a 2.8 inch uh, 320 by 240 display. Let me give you a closer look of this display now. So uh, there are two VFOs here, VFO A and VFO B and whenever you want to go to a particular VFO you just touch on that particular VFO and then you have switched there. So now we are on VFO uh, B, then I can go back to VFO A. So that's pretty convenient uh, where you just want to uh, quickly dart to another frequency to check on what's happening there. Uh, that apart then we have the receiver incremental tuning of course, which you can switch on and off. Uh, you have the upper sideband and lower sideband which you can choose uh, and you can also operate split. Uh, so when I do the split here, the VFO, VFO A has now turned to uh, receive frequency and uh, VFO B has become the transmit frequency. So that's how that works. And when you need to go to a, fr a frequency which is particularly far away, all you do is you just hold on to uh, one of these frequencies and the fast tune comes up and now you can actually go pretty fast to wherever you'd like to go. Uh, you can actually go fairly long distance very quickly with this. Um, so that's actually uh, an easy way to flit across a whole band and then you just press this button and then it comes back to normal tuning. But if you'd like to go to a particular frequency, you can always press the FRQ button, the frequency button and a numeric pad comes up where you can directly key in the frequency that you'd like to go to. For example, I would like to now go to my Charnar net frequency. So that, that's, uh, oops, Charnar, okay. <clears throat> so now I'm on the Charnar net frequency. Now these apart, we also have, let me first switch off the uh, split. Yeah, let me switch off the split. Okay. So uh, apart from this, for CW, we have got three buttons: the CW mode button, of course, which if you press, you get under the CW mode, uh, and you can control the, you can set the words per minute and the tone. And one neat uh, feature that we have here is that you could use your PTT itself as a Morse key. This is actually pretty useful when you want to transmit. Um, a carrier to tune up an antenna or quickly send a, a Morse code message like so. Oops, let me just show from the field. Okay, there you go. I'm a right-hander, but I was just trying to send it from my left hand because I'm holding the camera with my right. Um, so uh, that's about the uh, a quick introduction to the micro BITX version 6. Uh, most of the details, the technical details etc and the pricing is all available on hfsignals.com.